spotlight myself. Welcome. Hello, Eileen. We're so glad you are here. Let me see. Hello. Where am I? I'm right here. Mute. <laughs> I'm to mute myself. Let's see here. Pin. Is that what I'm trying to do? Make myself the speaker. I'm trying to make myself the speaker here. I think this is what it is. There we go. Okay. So, hey guys. Uh, tonight we are at the grill. I got to show you the counter. Hello. The counter. Tonight we're showing you guys the Micro Pro Grill again because it's on sale all month long. And it comes with the um, silicone ring. Next week we'll probably do a recipe in that. Um, so, this whole retail value would normally be $239. And right now your customers can get it for $189. And again, that includes a silicone ring, which is fantastic because there's lots of really cool things you can do in that. Um, this recipe, thank you, Diana, because she made this the other day. And I thought this morning, I thought, well, that'll be a great recipe to make. So shout out to Diana. Um, so this recipe is red potatoes with cheese and some crumbled up bacon on top. And you know, we don't buy store-bought pre-crumbled bacon. We make it in the Micro Pro Grill. So I already put four slices in here and microwaved it for a total of about eight, nine, 10, 11 minutes. For four minutes. And um, we're just gonna, it's perfectly crispy, delicious. My son, my husband, we're both going, hey, I smell bacon. <laughs> so I had to kick them out of the kitchen and say, yeah, you'll get some bacon later. I got to do a demo. So naturally that, that's what happens. I think I'm a towel here. So first part of this recipe is obviously cutting the potatoes. And that's using another premium product, our mandolin, which I don't, I honestly, I don't use it often. But anytime you have an opportunity to use this product, do it. And of course, if you've never used it before, either contact me and we can do a Zoom together and I can give you some tips because you never, ever, 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 ever want your customers ordering this and ending up in the ER with needing stitches. It does happen. And then people are like, I will never use this product ever again. It does not work. It does work. It's the problem is, and I just did this when Kara walked in my house right now, um, I didn't do the thing that makes your finger need stitches. I avoided that because I know better. So you need to always use the guard, okay? This little red part, always use it. So it comes like, you know, it's naturally just sits in this position and it gets stored like this in my cupboard, okay? Just like this. Pull the arm slash leg out. This is kind of a handle so that you can do your slicing. It's right now it's in the position where you don't have the blade exposed as you can see. Um, and then I used to, this is what I used to do. So number one, I cut potatoes in half because it's just easier to start like that, okay? Cut them in half, okay? And I used to just go like this and I was like, it's just not really grabbing on. And then I was trying to do it and it wasn't really working. And then I went to a meeting one day, I imagine that. You learn all kinds of things when you come to these um, or when you watch them from the recording. I learned that you pull the red part up to expose the actual little metal spikes and then you push it on like that. And you might think, well, it's going like halfway up the handle. That's okay because this is going to get pushed down as you slice, thus pushing the food down to the blade to get sliced. This is how you avoid stitches. It's very sharp. Okay. <laughs> it's very sharp. Hi, Diana. I see you're on. Um, so I already pre-sliced a few just to warm up because I haven't used this in a while, which reminds me that I need to use my mandolin more often and find more fun recipes to make with my kids. Um, so I'm going to put this on, I think it's on the two or the mark between the two and the four. It's kind of hard to tell. There we go. So always use the guard. Do never, ever, never, ever use it without the guard. Do not, do not use your hand. Not with corn, not with carrots, not with anything. That's why this is a guard and that's why you use the guard, okay? So then all you do is you're gonna give this a nice grab on if you're left-handed 
you know, turn it around and use it that way. Um, and then you're just going to slice. And it goes very fast when you know to just hold this and push down and slice and go back and forth. So you want to use a little bit of muscle. Don't ever, even though that part is down there by the blade, okay, like that, and it's loosey goosey, I'm still not touching it with my finger, okay? I'm going to pull it up with the guard and then I'm going to put my blade back in the secure position. And now we're good. Okay. Actually, I'll slice up this other one really quick too. Because you just, it's sharp. It's sharp. Okay. It will cut things. Here we go. Back to this. That seems like the good slicing. One blue on the floor. No, we're not having that, Luki. No, no. So there we go. Two, one potato slice, easy peasy. And the reason we love to do it on the mandolin for this particular demo, um, thank you again, Diana. I was just shouting out your name to thank you for this idea of this recipe. So thank you. Um, the reason we use the mandolin, why? Why would we use the mandolin for this instead of a knife? It's even, come over here, girlfriend. Even slices, bring your water bottle. Bring all your things. Oh, and push the chair in so Luke doesn't jump up there and want to eat your tuna bowl. No gas. So it even slices. Okay. So then we're gonna take our bacon. After we're done with the my, with the mandolin, dishwasher it if you want. I guess I probably wouldn't. But this was the bacon we just made. It took eleven okay. minutes, eight minutes to start, and then I flipped it into another eleven minutes. It smells like and Diana did this the other day, and she said, I just put the potatoes in there on top of the bacon grease. So we're taking the bacon so we can crumble it up. You can do it with your fingers. I'm just going to put it in the chopper here quick, because then it's another product you get to demonstrate. Anytime we have an opportunity to do that, right? We want to do that. So bacon grease, I love the smell of bacon. I love the taste of bacon. Mm -hmm. I just don't like it on all my towels. So any opportunity, now we're, this is the third product we've used. We've used the mandolin, we're using the grill for the bacon, and then we're gonna use it again for the potatoes with um, the cheese and the bacon on top. So this was a fun thing to do at your party. Obviously, doesn't take many slices, many pulls to cut this all up. That was what, three pulls? Three pulls, okay guys? Super easy. Now we're gonna take the other slices out of the grill. We're gonna leave, ooh, ah, I'll try. Oh yeah, don't knock over the computer, buddy. I have the computer up on the stand. I know it smells very good. He doesn't know where it's coming from. Where's it coming from? All right, now we're gonna put our slices in the grill. We're just gonna put it right on top of the grease. And I did dump out like the super excess grease, obviously. How many can we do here? And then I picked up some Mexican blend cheese. Mexican style. Diane, I wish you guys looked closer because any cheese I don't use, I have to give away. She's probably like, I oh, know. Um, so this, I don't use, I know. Why do I not use all my cheese? Then we just don't need a lot of cheese in our house. Is that weird? There is like, I'll come get it. Uh -huh. I'm gonna because they all the fruit. Take walking tacos. I literally have had cheese. Pizzas, and we... I know. I've literally had cheese sticks expire, and I'm like, I keep the other. I know. I know. Here is like, girl, what is your deal? I don't know. We still need a lot of cheese. They eat it on their sandwiches. Right. Oh my gosh, this looks so good, you guys. Can't wait to cook this up and eat it. So this is just another fun recipe that, right, you wouldn't normally probably think about and um, add as much bacon as we want because we're not a restaurant where the bacon is the most expensive food in the menu. All right. And then we're going to do eight minutes. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. I know. Oh, no, we cook the... I digress. We cook the potatoes first, and then we do the 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 eight, the eight minutes first, and then we do the rest. Having a little break for you guys. It happens. It's better to have it on a team meeting than in a party. 
than in the party. And you know what? It's okay if there's a little cheese in the bottom. It's totally fine. Totally fine. I got ahead of myself. I'm very excited about this recipe. A little half melted cheese isn't going to hurt anybody. Okay. Eight minutes. Thanks, Kara. Thank you, Vanna. Okay. Put those in there and then to the microwave and then we'll talk about some deals. Okay, guys. So potato bins are on sale. Call potato bins, call potato smart. The smart containers for all the things. So the potato one's on sale and then the onion one is on sale. Look at the big. You are going to be able to store your pound bags. Hey, Janelle. Hello. Hi. Eight Hi. minutes for the bacon, Hi. five minutes for the potatoes. Otherwise, five you might minutes have for the potatoes. Yeah, otherwise you might have potato chips. Yes. Okay. Five minutes for the potatoes and then another three minutes with the cheese and the bacon, right? No. Eight minutes for the bacon by itself. Five minutes Got for the potatoes. Minutes then you put the cheese and the bacon on top. You don't have the cheese will melt. Oh, that's right. It'll melt. Yep. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I got carried away and I started putting the cheese and the bacon on the potatoes before I put them in. Yeah. I was like, oh, wait, hold on. <laughs> I know you get oh, so yes. excited. I'm like salivating over here. <laughs> I know. They're so good. They're so, so good. But that's the whole point, guys. Like, you think you got to go live and you have to do everything perfectly? You don't have to do everything right. perfectly. Kara, because everybody wants to see you because I'm talking to you. And then they're like, who is she talking to? I'm, I'm, a, I'm a figment of my imagination, my imaginary friend. Um, so again, you don't have to be perfect with everything, guys. I totally goofed. And now I have the cheese and the bacon sitting over here on my thing. Okay. So potato and onion smarts, they are on sale until tomorrow. One more day. I know I haven't done a lot of videos or postings, but reality is he's been on sale a couple times, right? In the last year, this is coming, it's a black. This is just an old color. Don't get, Karen, Karen sent me a video or show me a video today and then she called me. She was making a video with the little ideal bowls. Okay, not in the current color, but that was why she said, is it okay if I did a video, but they're not in the current color? I said, honey, it's totally fine. Anytime you have the product, Go live and do a demo. We have water bottle colors. We've got a whole rainbow yeah. of them in here. Doesn't mean I don't take them out and do videos and demos with them when they're on sale, which we're going to talk about that in a second because I did send some information via email today that I want to reiterate because it's really important. Um, so this one is 20. This is the onion one. And it's open. And it's open. Uh, it, yeah. it has an opening. <laughs> and it does have the little onion emblem on there. So in the event your customers get these in their box, and of course your customers aren't familiar with things like we are, and they're probably like, ooh, which one is for onion and which one is for potatoes? Well, the fun thing is, is it has the emblem on the potato one right here, the emblem is right there, and the onion one is on the onion container. But you can just tell them too, the onion one has a lid with the holes all over the top, and the potato one has a lid that goes over the whole part and then has a flap here for opening. I love these containers. And I um, I use these for lots of snacks back in our closet back here and for onions and for potatoes. Because there's a lot of things in our house. <laughs> Growing children. So I bought another bag of potatoes the other day and I have potatoes in there. I think I have a, a full bag of these already in there. And I'm pretty sure we can fit all of these in the food. So we're gonna do the right thing. I was just gonna ask. We're gonna that. dump these out. Yeah. And you know what, guys? I had a bag of potatoes and then and the other one that I forgot about because the, the the only part that's hard for me about this is I forget I have potatoes and I don't cook enough with them. Even though I love potatoes, I just forget to cook with them all the time. And I went to look in my bin and they all were still good. There was zero zero mold. The people were all super soft. <laughs> So I was like, probably not going to taste good anymore. And there were some sprouts growing, but there was zero mold. So remember when you sell these to your customers, remember to tell them they still, even though they're in a dark container, they still need to be in a cool, dark place. So Wait, Ellie. That means Hello? Oh, that means not next to your stove. Okay, that's a, that's a hot spot in your house. 
<laughs> not next to your fridge because your fridge i grew up with appliance salesmen's for my childhood your fridge and your stove they have engines your stove obviously makes heat your fridge has a heat source underneath behind it to keep it to keep the inside cold so don't put your potato bins in a cabinet next to your fridge okay cool dark dry place so a lazy susan kind of underneath um, away from your stove, if it's next to your stove, not a good spot. Um, Sherry! And then, uh, so mine, I have back in a cupboard back around this, this around this pantry cupboard here. It's back in a cabinet. Um, and again, works fantastic. I actually had them on the top shelf up high and during our floor construction. Um, and they didn't see very much light at all. And they stayed fresh for, for even longer than on the lower shelf. So... I was like, well, I'm gonna keep these up higher for a little while. So again, 22 for this one. Normally I think it's 37, 39 and 37, I think. And right now it's 20 and 22. So they're like half price together. You get them for 40, which is like almost less than half price. Okay. So make sure you blast that. Make sure you take pictures of your, just snap a picture of your own ones you have in your kitchen and you can come in. What do you need, babe? Bacon? Everybody's yeah. always so camera shy. Um, just don't forget because these end tomorrow and people are probably still like in the coming back from vacation mode and like all lot of sorts. But when you put it out there and you text your customers and you just let them know the FOMO creates the sales. All right, guys, the FOMO creates the sales. You know what FOMO means, right, Kara? Yes, ma'am, she says. <laughs> yes, ma'am. So I'm gonna bring the camera over here really quick and show you guys where I have these. And then in your home, you can kind of figure out what is a good place for them, but I'll bring you back to my spot here because I know you're all dying to see. Where does Janelle store hers? So we have a cabinet closet back here. It's probably for coats because it has a coat hanging rack, but my bins are right here, okay? And I often have this light on. So I try to remember, especially in wintertime, I have that light on a lot. I try to remember to close this. Because again, a cool, dark, dry place, it's gonna keep all these fresh longer. Um, so I have a third one over there. It's got some ramen. Come take a peeky peeky. Ramen in this one. Um, and this one has more potatoes that are still good. Okay, there's one, that is probably a grain of rice from all the other stuff being, the, being in chaos. So these are still good. I don't remember when I bought these guys, but they're still good. And I often forget to put the doors down too. But again, access panels. And hopefully you guys all got my text that I sent out. Um, and then my onion one's up here next to these big boxes of chips. This is a new thing I've been doing lately, but I need to get back to doing the way I normally do it. Um, what was I just going to say? Al fugo. I forgot. Um, my bacon's very good. So onion potato bins and tomorrow. Don't forget. And we have all of these amazing, oh, I know what I'm going to talk about next is water bottles. All of these amazing products in your June, July flyer. I just got my animal water bottles, you guys. These are the best. I These are kind of a collectible in my house. And Karen knows because she joined up we're around the same time I did. When my kids and her kids were still in their toddler phase and switching from sippy cups to like normal cups, these were a godsend. So these are great for the 18 month to, you know, like three, four years old. Perfect size water bottle. They can grab it. They can they can um, grab, grip, grip was the word I was looking for. Um, and then they can close it as well and open it. They have the tab on them. Lukey, get down. Um, and they hold, if you're ever curious how much the water bottle holds, I can tell just by looking at it because I've been doing this for a hot minute and I can do all this in a coma. I want to teach you guys that the ounces and the milliliters are always printed etched in, not printed, etched into the neck of the water bottle, okay? And then your cover has, has its own mold number. Actually, there's, technically there's two mold numbers. There's one mm -hmm. for the cap and one for this part. So there's three mold numbers for this one whole yeah. thing, okay? But when you do a warranty, I believe for the cap, you just do this number here and it's all it comes as one piece. However, so I just wanted you guys to know that. So the neck of the water bottle, you wanna open that one for me, Kara? Yeah. The neck of the water bottle is where the mold numbers are if you're doing a warranty. I can tell just by looking at them, because again, I've been doing this for quite a while, so I can tell a large to a medium to a small, okay? These are mediums. And then the large is this big guy here, okay? Um, 
So they all have, um, if they're the mediums, they all have the same old number. There's the number after the, the number after the dash doesn't matter. So don't ever need that from your customers, okay? Um, and then the water bottles. So some did you know? So Kara got this earlier today from my email. She was like, oh my God, I totally took your did you knows and made her video, uh, which was about the ideal bowls and how you can fit a one ounce bag of Doritos. So I'm going to get a bag because she can't reach them. I can. I'll do it. There's a stool in there, I think. You stop yourself. <laughs> She's the like, bag. challenge accepted. I'm five, ten. well, I think I'm five nine now. She's five one. Five one. So your, your one ounce bag. And when you do a video, just make sure you say one ounce because you want your customers to know the exact size of them. Because that is like... That's all of them. They're like, done. Those are the bags I buy. You know, moms know these things, right? So that's what's already in here. So I'll just I'll send it over here first. Okay. Oh, I can't win again. I'll just remember to eat the Dorito bowl on the counter. They're like, done. So you just make sure you show this to your customers. I probably did this in a video earlier this week. So I, I apologize, guys. But you know what? You can never hear it to me. You can also put in these because they're liquid tight. I said that's even better because then you have another extra thing to add in the comments. But back on the water bottles, make sure people know. Do a post that creates water consumption. How how does your household consume water? Do you guys have a water uh, spigot on your fridge? or at your sink, or do you guys use bottled water? Do a post like that that creates engagement because it's on the same topic and you want to create awareness on the importance of... Janelle, you're freezing up on my screen here. Nowadays. So when you explain that, it makes people go, hmm, people want to do better by the environment. People want to make better choices. People want to understand how they can save more money. When you hit them in the pocketbook, they're like, you are not wrong, okay? So I always explain that to people that, and I've known this for years, and we talk about it all the time. Every Earth Day, we talk about this. Um, I cannot get i mean she's been using more her tupperware water bottles more religiously than my family has even been using them even though we have cupboards and cupboards full i just my kids are like water bottle addicts so we have many tupperware ones and a few others so we're always doing water bottles but the um the point is you want them to understand if they get 10 of these or more or less however that however many they think they need versus disposable because they might think i need a case of what are they, a case of 30, 45, ridiculous yeah. amount of water bottles? Like that's that's bananas, okay? What people need to realize is this is reusable. So we're gonna fill up 10 of these. We're gonna put them in our drawer in our fridge so that it's cold because they probably take the disposable water bottles, put them in their fridge to get them cold. So they're ready to go. Lukey, there's no bacon up there. There's no bacon up there, sir. <laughs> and so fill up 10 of these, put them in your fridge. They're liquid tight, remember that, okay? And then they can pull out their water bottle. Now, they might get this color scheme because they're like, these are the best colors for my family because somebody loves one sports team, somebody loves another, and somebody loves the Eagles. Okay? Now, I kind of do because the Kelsey feathers. But, you know. <laughs> um, but they will then have their own water bottles. You can They can put their little name tags on them. And then they fill their water bottles up, put them in the fridge. Water's ready to go to be cold each day. That's how you help your customers understand 
They don't just need a water bottle because you posted a picture of water bottles on sale because they don't understand why you need Tupperware water bottles and what's the big hoop to do other than it's Tupperware and lifetime warranty. Give them a did you know. When they learn, they return. Always leave them wanting more. What's next after water bottles? Well, then we're going to go to ideal bowls. Then we're going to go to eliminate disposable plastic baggies, right? With their lunch containers. And these are my favorite. If you didn't see my post, I love all the little mini things Tupperware makes. They're not that mini, but they're just, they're mini. And then we're going to go into lunch containers. Why are we buying Lunchables and spending all that money, all that waste? Oh, here's another did you know about water bottles. I don't know how much oil is used, but um, another business leader talked about it in her live video the other day. But there's a lot of oil used to just produce one or like a case of disposable water bottles. Okay, guys? So there's a lot of oil consumed just to make the water bottle. Then you have the, you know, they fill it up with whatever water they fill it up with. What kind of water is that? Well, we don't know. I mean, some of them you do know, okay, and you can trust, but a lot of them you don't know. They're just, fill a lot of them are filling it up with the tap water like you get at your house. It's the same water. It's not really anything fancy. Um, so know where your water's coming from. Maybe that's a, maybe that's an engagement post. Do you know where your tap water comes from? How good is your city's? Water filtration system. Ours is not that good. <laughs> we don't drink our water. We use well. We have a we have a reverse osmosis, which is we love. It's the best. So, um, it's cost efficient. Um, as far as water, you can spend lots of money on water filter stuff. So, anyways, um, tell your customers did you know? Also, on that note, in Dynamic Stars, in the files section, and you can also look this up by typing in these keywords: Tupperware versus disposable. There's a spreadsheet for those of you nerds that love yourself a spreadsheet. There's a spreadsheet and come over here and drink your water in front of your in the purple water bottle that was just available not too long ago. Um, there's a spreadsheet with all of the Tupperware versus disposable products. So it's got the list of disposable stuff and then the Tupperware products listed to replace it with the pricing below. Pricing for one month on disposable, pricing for one year on disposable, and pricing for five years on disposable. And then the lifetime investment, keywords, lifetime investment on the Tupperware products. So it really kind of goes, wow, I didn't know I was spending that much money. It's really important, I think, especially for people on fixed incomes, maybe people that are, are retired or just work a job that like, their income is very limited. It's for everybody, really, but think about the people in your life that that might really hit them in the, oh my gosh, right? That might be somebody that you wanna come say, hey, come join my team, get your discount, come get the bonus bundle. We're calling it the bonus bundle with this. Can you get the red silicone spatula for me? Mm -hmm. Get this bonus bundle. I'm gonna start doing some more postings on that. Um, Cause I'm gonna try some more strategies for that. All right, I forgot this was cooking. So these are, Cooking, back to the potatoes. I get really passionate about the disposable and reusable solutions, guys, because in all my years of Tupperware, I've also been a mom. I became a mom right before I joined Tupperware. And when you had your oldest, who mm -hmm. come over here, when you had your oldest, who's 20, ooh, Six. 26, you probably used a lot of disposable stuff, right? Baggies and yeah, you use a lot of stuff. But so my point in saying all this is we, you, she didn't know. She didn't know about Tupperware. And she didn't know about all the, the wonderful solutions. When she joined, we all, I mean, we all switched to Tupperware water bottles. Of course, here's the potatoes guys. I'm probably dying to see them. Sorry. Okay. Yep. My kids, that's what they take to school. Yep. Uh, like in elementary, kindergarten, first, second, third, fourth, fifth, they took their, they took the younger, this, the younger two kids. Yep. Yes. They took this size the small, right? Put it yep. in their backpacks. Um, I didn't have to worry about it because it wasn't going to spill. I knew this. And if it got broken, I didn't really care because there was a lifetime warranty. So yep. why wouldn't I spend seven, nine dollars, right? Yep. On a water bottle they're going to have for years and years and years versus spending 15, 20 at Target on one where they drop it and it cracks and then you gotta buy oh well, car. I've gotta go buy a new one, right? There's no warranty, there's no happy yeah. customer going on. Um yeah. So yeah, my kids use all of these. My 
12 year old seventh grader put that packed a lunch today. Which way? This way? Yep. Put it, nope, like this. No, this casserole. Cast we don't want it. Okay. We don't want the cheese to stick to the cover. So we're going to let it sit there for a minute and let it get all melty. We had Mads was at camp today and she packed her lunch and sandwich keeper, ideal bowl, water bottle. Right? So Love it. these are things we use daily, daily, daily in my house. So that point is, we grew up in Tupperware, so I didn't, I used baggies for like the first couple months because Anthony was four months old when I joined, five months maybe. Um, and then everything got switched to Tupperware. And then I like quickly gained on to the, oh my gosh, I can eliminate all this disposable and just use Tupperware. The snack cups, the little minis, right? For all the things, the, the ideal bowls, the sandwich keepers, the lunches were, I think not too far after, were they available right away when we joined? Yeah. I can't remember. No, a little while after, but that was huge because we have all these small kids. Mm -hmm. So we were like, you don't need Lunchables because, you know, you don't get as much food in those. No, you can put way more food in these and they look yeah. like the same size, but they're not. Oh, yeah. She'll turn your camera. So around. this is what. So I am going to Iowa tomorrow for wrestling. Um, So I just took a quick pick of this, right? Because this is what I packed before I came to just You froze up again. I'm glad you said that because I thought it was me. I was like, what's wrong with my internet? I thought it was mine for a while. And I figured my head's still moving. Uh, I'm like, thank, thank goodness you did move. I was like, oh, it's not frozen. It's them. <laughs> I thought it was me too because I got up to go to the bathroom. I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, it's oh. what's going on? I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> My internet's been spotty all day. Oh, there oh, she is. Darn. There. Welcome back. No, nope, not quite. <laughs> Guess not. No, nope. better. <laughs> nope. Nope. <laughs> She needs some words right above where her finger is pointing. <laughs> <laughs> Are we still frozen? Oh, no, now we can man. see you. I think you're back. Oh. We'll see how long it lasts. Are we well, back? Now I see Diana. <laughs> and kind of. Is it better now? You come and go. Oh. You say a word or two and then it freezes. And then it breaks away and you say a word or two and it freezes again. Oh. Well, I wanted to show you guys. Can you see me? I see Sherry. Can you see me now? We can talk can to each other. We just can't. Okay. I put one hard. I'm so excited egg to see my, you um... in here, Eileen. <laughs> Glad to be here. Works too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Normally, Normally I can get one two. in here, right? Like I do two or three for yeah protein. So I just throw them in the idea. We'll do it in this one. Can you guys hear me at all or no? Yep. Ooh. Oh, do you want the blue one? It's empty. Well, oh, okay. Hello. Hi. Hi. So I always like to show the hard boiled eggs, taking them on the go because they're smelly, right? Oh, I bring those. <laughs> I actually do bring hard boiled eggs uh, with me to wrestling and basketball tournaments. Yeah. And you cannot smell them. Like people, no, no. moms in no. front of me have no idea that I'm eating them. You're distorted again. Because it's, yeah. Can you guys hear us? It's outside. Let me get off my Wi Fi. Turning my Wi Fi off. Was that a good uh, imitation, girls? That was very good. Very nice. <laughs> 
sounded just like her. I love it. Can you guys see me? Or am I distorted? Can you I see can this? See you. I can see potatoes. Yay! Can you hear me, Sherry? Yes. Oh my gosh, these look delicious. Sherry, come try one. Okay. Twist her arm. Yep. This is why I come to the meetings, ladies. That's all right. Come around the corner so they can see you eating it. Well, they don't need to see me. They don't see that. <laughs> so hot. It is hot. Sizzling, baby. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thumbs up. I wish we could do thumbs up Thursday. I know, right? Can you see me, Sherry? Yes. Oh, I just oh, how you made it. Or heard I the rest. Of I missed the first part. I did. Rest I always I have, have, have trouble finding this meeting. So good. I don't know what my problem is. Finding red potatoes? The meeting. No, finding your meeting for me I to join it. And I texted it. Yeah, but I couldn't find the text. I saw it earlier today. Still, am I still not connecting? You're on. Diana, Eileen, can you guys hear me? Can you step on him. Can you guys hear me? Shoot, okay. you. What's that? Yes, I hear you. A little bit? Okay. Well, these were delicious. Mm -hmm. And the, I love it because it's just a few. It's not like a whole pan of them. This is a great little snack to make, guys. And I'm going to do more of these for my kids probably tonight. Mm -hmm. For sure. Got to make sure I save the bacon. Don't eat the bacon, Janelle. <laughs> so go out there, guys. And if you don't have the grill yet, here's another reason you need the grill. But also you need the micro. You need the... Um... Hi, Diana. Can you also, you need the smart multi cooker. I've been making a lot of hard boiled eggs yeah. and using, <laughs> huh? Mm -hmm. Yeah. A lot of hard boiled eggs for summertime, just a nice cold protein snack. Mm -hmm. um, you got to get that. You got to get the grill. You got to get that. You're, I'm gonna, we're going to teach you all the things you can do with all of them. They're amazing. Mm -hmm. Um. Any questions from anyone? Hopefully people can hear me. Any questions? I can hear you now. Thank goodness. Um, sometimes if my eggs are small enough or whatever, they I can fit one in a um this guy, the mini, which was what I was trying to do, but my eggs were a little fluffier. So hey, don't for I wanted to mention the don't forget that this is the purchase with purchase this month. Five Let's, bucks. Oh, thank you, Diana. You're welcome. It's in green. This one's blue, but still. I'm going to pin you. Spotlight. $5. $5 for the Aqua Vibe. When, you, when your customers spend $80 or more, they get this for $5. They can purchase it for $16, but they can get it for $5 with their purchase. And it also comes with a flexible straw, which is really cool. Mine's over in the other bottle uh, getting washed right now, but the, it has the flex bottom. So you get every drop from the bottom of the bottle with the straw, which is fantastic. There it is. It comes in two pieces. So you just put it together and then that part goes in the bottom. My son keeps leaving it in the top. Oh. Because then he can close the lid on top of I the know. top. I know so I know that a couple of my customers said the same thing, but I like flipping it so that I get all of the drink from the bottom. And then I had a couple of customers in my VIP group that said they do that too. So I think it works. You know what? Way. I think both ways is really brilliant yeah. for both different brain people. Yeah, it works great. <laughs> it <different>. works great. <laughs> I know. Anyway, it's, awesome. it's five bucks. It's a purchase with purchase this month. So it's a really good deal for them to stay hydrated all summer. And then yeah. in the winter, when it's harder to drink water, these fun icons are a great reminder. That is so true. It is harder to drink water in winter. Diana, that is such a good point because people yeah. don't think about that. It's always hard to drink water, guys. Tara has a water problem in general. She just naturally runs dehydrated 24-7. So she's been yeah. drinking more water lately. And she's like, Jesus, Mary, and Joseph, I am constantly peeing. I'm like, I don't like it. Welcome to be dehydrated, Tara. <laughs> <laughs> I 
once your once your body gets hydrated yeah. enough though it's yeah. you won't be running to the bathroom as much good because yeah. nobody has time for that there yeah it's just because you're dehydrated <laughs> I love to know for years like my body should just know like this is all you're getting this is it, this is it. I'm hilarious. I am. that's you're so funny I know right? I know 700 calories is plenty you no, it's not funny it sounds like you need the aqua vibe bottle more than most she's had it <laughs> she got it right? do, you, do you know where mine is right now it is no right? Iowa with my 15 year old wrestling. Oh, uh, well that, at least someone's using it. Because he won't go <laughs> fill it up, right? So if if they go with this, this is all they drink because they don't have time to right. fill it. To fill it. Uh-huh. Yeah. That's so I sent him with the mama jama. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Because then he's getting two liters, right? Right. Yeah. yeah. So that's the bomb. Last, last week we were in Eau Claire and I filled mm. that up twice for him guys he drank almost five liters of water well he's sweating his brains out for sure yeah i mean sure yeah. for sure but yeah that's, that's why you gotta get them for the his show. brains out <laughs> he always yeah, does. Yeah, right these are gonna these are gonna start turning a little brown but you know what guys when you put them i'm gonna make these later for my kids when they come back from whatever evening, whatever <laughs> evening activity i can make him more too <laughs> um that doesn't matter if they're brown obviously because yeah. you're just gonna put them in the grill anyway so and brown. And brown, yeah. yeah. I had, let me grab my post it note downstairs because I had written the. Here, you can rinse out your other thing. Those oh. little snack bar containers are great for glasses, too, guys. Just Ooh. wanted to share that. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I keep from losing my reading glasses. <laughs> little first aid bundle. And one more little tidbit. And then I'll let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for being on. I have one more little t- note. Um, hello, who else joined Nancy? Nancy! Okay, we're almost done, Nancy, but this uh, you missed all the delicious potato bites. So if you guys are trying to go in and order, and Nancy might be one of them, catalogs, they're mm-hmm. all sold out. Yeah. So don't, don't fret. It's not the end of the world. We really should be using our digital catalogs more anyways. So this is just a reminder that you have a digital catalog. You can use the link right on your website. Um, we've showed you guys that many times, but I, I can do a quick little video just to show you guys how to do it so that it's just one little video on that. But you go to your website, go all the way to the bottom or right on the home screen in the middle, online catalog, and then click on the actual catalog, not the flyer, and then copy that link and send it to your customer. And then you have the digital catalog link, okay? And if you're doing a vendor show, just put your catalog, cut, it, cut the pages out, Use like a utility knife or a safe scissor, something you're comfortable with. Don't use something you're not comfortable with as far as cutting goes, okay? <laughs> and then uh, put them all in page protectors and then have them in a little binder. Um, and again, remember you have a link. You can use that link and put it as a QR code so that when everybody comes to the party, they can just scan it with their phone and then they can just start flipping through on their phone. And that way you're eliminating paper, People aren't taking the catalog home, throwing it away. So it's just a kind of reminder. I thought this is not a big deal. I know a lot of companies are probably going to have a frustrating time with it, especially Amish. But I just really want to emphasize, use your digital tools so that you're not spending a ton of money on paper catalogs. And then when they come available for the new one starts in August. So we have about six weeks. The new one will start uh, the first day of the September sales month. And then they'll be available to order probably like the week of Jubilee. Um, I don't have the exact date yet. And then obviously go and order some. I don't ever order a ton. I think I order one case every time there's a new catalog. And I pretty much go through that and maybe in one or two more packs. So I don't go through a ton. But I just try to make sure you guys know that. And then when you get your new catalogs and then they expire, meaning the new one started, keep those catalogs. You paid for them. Okay. So I reuse those at vendor shows. I don't mm-hmm. give a new catalog to every new customer at a vendor show. I give them a flyer or I give them a QR code or a little postcard with all my info on it. And then if they're you know dating a party with me, I'll give them a catalog and a flyer. But I try to limit how many I give to each person to try to encourage them to use the digital tools. So we use less paper because we're a green company, right guys? 
We are a green company, right? Well, and I prints, right? You've seen mine. Yeah. Where I do. So at vendor shows, I would um, take a catalog or whatever, and I cut um, the, what is the pages? The binder off? The binder yeah. off. Just and then, yeah, I put it in sleep protectors. Yeah. Three in binder. Because nobody's going to walk off with that, guys. Yeah. But that way they can all flip through it, and I'm not going through. So I just told Yeah, a zillion. Um, any other questions, everybody? And if you don't have any catalogs, I can mail you one. I have a few left. If you need one, I'm, what's that I'm out. I'm You're just letting out. my team, my team, if you guys are watching, I'm out. Well, I'm out. <laughs> I think I have a pack. Okay. I have, I think, enough for about two packs. So if anybody needs one, I'm happy to send you one. But just know you have the online digital one. So try to use that. If you have a an, an older mm -hmm. customer who doesn't use computers, you know, obviously send me a message and I'll try to help you guys out. So, and you can always print. There's a PDF one. I'll load that to the files in Dynamic Stars. There is a PDF of the digital catalog. So I can put that in there so you guys can email that to people too. Okay. Any other questions? Thanks you guys for joining. Appreciate it. And then um, I will put this recording up so everybody can watch it later if you missed the first part of it. Um, but these potato bites were delicious. Yeah, were. Thank you, Diana. She's inspiring me every day. So they were you. so good. They're so good. So good. Have a good evening, guys. Go get your micropro grills. Go make some demos. Go make some magic. Go follow Diana. She's making all kinds of yummy goodie stuff. So oh love you guys. Bye. Bye. Bye.